Good morning everyone! So I've actually remembered to sit down to film my intro but yeah we're actually headed off to Shinsa today. I wanted to go there because I need to get skincare. Like I don't know if you guys can see but my skin is horrendous right now. I actually ran out of most of my collection about two weeks ago so I've been living off like random samples and my skin has been hating it. So yeah we're gonna go to Shinsa today to get some like different products and stuff that I need. Um, a few new ones, a few old ones but yeah I thought you guys would like to come along take a look at the shops and we're also gonna get lunch while we're there. I found this restaurant that apparently does fish and chips and as an Aussie we do love a good fish and chips so we're gonna go there too but yeah um, I think I also want to film like a mini like skincare haul also for this video we will see though but yeah I'm gonna go get my jacket on and we'll head on right out We ended up getting a few different things today. We ended up getting a beef burger, a few chicken wings, and the fish and chips, which is what I'm most excited for, to be honest. Like, how good does that look? I haven't had fish and chips for ages. The first stop of the day is Alan. Let's go inside. Finished at Ailen, now we are heading to our next destination. Next stop is the Abnormal Beauty Company. Let's go inside. We just went to Coco's Matcha to pick up some donuts. I've always like tried to order them through Coupon Eats and they're always sold out. So since we're in Shinsu today, we ended up picking some up and yeah, we're gonna go home now and probably eat these, take milk out and Honestly, I don't know what else, but I'll keep you guys updated. I thought I would show you what I ended up buying today. As I mentioned, I did have to pick up quite a few products. So yeah, I have kind of like a decent haul here. So the first products I'm going to show you are from Claire's. This is the Subtle Preparation Facial Turner. I've been using this like for a while now, like maybe this is the third bottle. I really enjoy it. It's very gentle on the skin, which I do need because my usual routine is quite strong. Like the rest of the products are like acid and stuff. So Starting with something gentle really helps, I believe. But yeah, I really like this toner, so I ended up buying it again. The next product I actually ended up getting because of Cherry. So if you guys uh, saw my last video, I believe, uh, Cherry and I went and did a what's in our makeup pouch type of video, and she recommended this product. She said it was really good for like blemishes and stuff, and as you guys are probably aware, right now my skin is covered in blemishes, so I thought I would try it. Even though I am a big um, Misha fan girl, I thought let's just try a new base product and see how it goes and see if it like helps clear up my skin. So I'm super excited to try this. The next brand I got was some things from Nature Republic. 
So from Nature Republic, I picked up these two aloe vera soothing gel packets. They're really good. Like, I find because of the winter, my skin is super dry, so I need, like, some extra moisturizer, like, in between, like, my steps. So I add this usually, and I believe it really does help. It does help, like, make my skin feel softer, and it's, like, super light. So, you know, I don't, like, feel too heavy or anything when I put this on. And then I also got some sheet masks. The first one was the Shea Butter Sheet Mask. These ones are like super moisturizing, which I do like. I find like a lot, uh, a lot of like Nature Republic products are very moisturizing. But yeah, these sheet masks really do help. They really make my skin super soft. And I also got the tea tree ones, which are good for acne. So yeah, I thought I need those right now. So I'll probably use one of these tonight. But like I said, I really do like the Nature Republic sheet mask. I find them super hydrating and super soft. And that leads me into the last brand. This is not a K-Beauty brand, but The Ordinary is a really, really great brand, I find. Like, I love all the products that I've tried from them. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce the name, but this first product is for... Um, anti-aging. So usually I use this at night to like help with my skin. Like I don't think I have any like bad wrinkles or anything but I've heard this like is good for wrinkles and stuff. So I got this one to use at the night. And then the next two products are for acne. This one I use during the day. It just like yeah helps clear up your acne or any blemish problems that you may be having. And then I also picked up this one. This one is like super strong. I mean, it says mild there, but trust me guys, like if I put this on at night, like it really clears up any blemishes that I be, like will have. Like it really dries them out very quickly. So I definitely recommend this product. If you are looking for something for acne, like definitely check this out. And the last product I have is this one, this is just like a really nice oil, which I love to use at nighttime. Again, like after I use all these other strong like acids and stuff, this product is super moisturizing. Like this oil, like it does stain though. Like it's kind of like an orange tinge to it. So I try to use a little bit, which is fine because like a little goes a long way with this. But yeah, this rosehip oil is really nice. I definitely would recommend it if you want something very moisturizing to leave on overnight. But that's pretty much all I got today. Like I said, I do want to film like a proper skincare, uh, skincare video for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And I think I'm going to go and eat a donut now. So I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to end the video here. I'm about to head off to the bathroom to wash off my makeup. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. As I mentioned, I do want to film like a proper skincare video for you guys in the future. Um, let me see if like my face clears up first though. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed seeing Shinsa, all the stores, the restaurant and all that jazz. But yeah, please like and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys in the next one.